Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. I'm back on Flow, Flow Pro, but it should be the same with Flow Essentials which is on PC at the moment and it's imminent on Xbox. As you can see these are the typical nameplates, name tags that you'll see in Microsoft Flight Sim. You've got the white on the on the black background there. Lots of people don't like that. Well with Flow, and it should be in Flow Essentials, you can have your own custom nameplates. As you can see here, I've gone a bit wild here. But in this video, I'm making this video because I've not seen another video showing these options in thoroughness. So I want to go through all these different options in the nameplates in, in Flow and show you what you can achieve. Well, okay, let's not dilly-dally. Let's get on with this video. Okay, so I'm parked up at Huddison International London City Airport's North Europe server. Always lots of people around, which is ideal. These are the typical nameplates you'll find. Let's bring up Flow and change that a little. Now, you can either click on the icon here, the gear icon. With Flow, uh, you can actually put this icon on the wheel. And I've got it there. So either or, I just like it on the wheel so it's all centralised. And what we can do, we can move this to one side, in fact. And in Flow Essentials and Flow Pro, and this should be the same when it releases on Xbox, so get excited about that. You can click on Nameplates and click on Custom Nameplate Style. What will happen, this is the default style it gives you, so it gives you like a black writing. So Gone is that sort of uh, white on black background. And you just got sort of uh, black people quite like this style, the way it is. But I'm going to show you more than that. Now, you can show additional data. The additional data is the aircraft. So if you don't want the aircraft, what people are flying underneath their names, you could switch that on or off, which is nice. Show only friends. Let's put this to the test, shall we? Uh, any friends of mine on at the moment? Oh, poor lonely me. There's no friends flying around this area of mine. That's okay. If you had a group of friends and you didn't want all those other name tags in a busy area showing, and you're all friends in Microsoft Flight Sim, you can add friends. You can click on that, show only friends, which is nice. Uh, force uppercase, so you show all their, uh, their name and the aircraft all in uppercase. I prefer it where it's got a mixture of lower and uppercase. And show aircraft marker. This is something I don't like, but you can see a dot below each of their names now, which is their aircraft. You may like that. I prefer it off, personally. So those are those options. Then you've got name scale. This should speak for itself. If you increase that, their name size will increase. I actually like it between there and 120. Let's put it on 120. And the data will be the aircraft. So if you increase that, you'd increase their data. Uh, so I like that on 120 and that on 110. Let's get to the, a bit of the meat and veg now, shall we? Showing how you can change the colours. Now, these are the defaults. And you can click on this, by the way. And you can colour your friends differently. Let's just click off that for now so we don't confuse things. We've got day and we've got night. I'm not going to touch night. I'm going to leave leave you to try that yourself. If you don't have flow at the moment, you can possibly get it in the future on Xbox, for example. But it should be the same. So... We're in daytime. I'm just going to stick to the daytime. The night ones should be the same type of thing as I'm going to show you here. So this font color, so this would be the color of the fonts here. I believe the first two digits is six zeros. So the first two digits here is red. Next two digits are green and the next two are blue. I can prove that to you. I'll change the first digit to a four. Give it a moment to update, and as you can see, they've all gone a red. If I want a different shade of red, let's say more red, I can increase that to a higher number 
eight. And there you go, they're more red. That type of thing. And you can put 88, 99, for example. Let's try that, 99. I'll have to delete one of those zeros and probably get the most extreme red you can get there. So let's just put them back to zero. And I can show you the green, I can show you the blue. Let's show you the green. Let's put green on eight. Give it a moment to update. There you go, they've gone very green. And we can put that bound to zero. Sure, you get the idea now, but let's change this second to the last to eight, and you should see them going very blue. Now, you can even have a mix of colours, so what's red and blue together? Should give you a kind of purple, so I'm going to change that to a four, and that to a four. And give it a moment to update there, you can see they've gone kind of purple there. So that's the font colour. I actually prefer a red colour for now. Let me show you these other two options now. Okay, so continuing. By the way, if you click on colour friends differently, so you want friends different colours, if you lost what the original settings were, just look down here. These are all the original settings. So there you go. So if you mess around with this, you can't get back to the original settings. Just click on colour friends differently. If you've not changed that, these are the original settings. Probably wise to take a screenshot if you're going to be messing around with all these. Just so you can get it back to normal if you ever want to. There's a couple of here, things here. Background colour and outline colour. It's on transparent. Let's go to the bottom one first. Now you can change this to whichever colour you want. I'm going to put it to something little a little extreme. Yellow. There you go. So essentially, if I increase the name scale, you've got red inward and sort of outline is yellow. I can make that red even more pronounced. And that should be a little bit clearer for you. There you go. So you can see it's now red inside and yellow outside, which gives a nice effect. Let's just turn that down a bit. And you can put that on different colours. So you can try, try green. There you go. So the green's the outline colour. And black outline colour, I should say. So now you've got red and black, which is quite nice. Difficult to read that. And if you want to put it back to where it was. Transparent. I spelled that right. There you go, then you just got the original red, which I was at before. Let's put that back to four, that's the type of red. Now the background colours, you could change all these values to give some extraordinary effects. The last two digits, so these three digits will change, I believe it carries on the same, I'm not sure. I'll show you these in a moment, but I want to show you the last two digits. You can see there that there's no outline there in the background colour. If I change that very last last digit to something like 606. Give it a moment to see what happens. Now you can see there's an outline box on each aircraft. I quite like that. In multiplayer flights, if I put that down to 120 for example, I can clearly see now who's flying around me. Let's go a bit more extreme than that, shall we? Actually, let's try. Shall we try green here again? Just try a few different effects, just, oops, now what have I done there? That's not how you spell green. There we go. There you go, so the box now, the outline colours. You get some extraordinary effects, but you can even fill the outline of the box in here. So you see it's a white box. Let's get rid of that green, it's a bit distracting. Uh, should we try blue just to see what happens? Uh, no. Okay, I'm going to put it back to transparent just so we can see clearly now. spell it correctly transparent that's fine so we're back to our red there now so if you wanted that white box around them to show different colors let's put this first value to 200 there we go you can see now the box is shaded a different shade let's put that second value instead of 255 100 and anywhere between 0 and 1, oh, you can see it's purple. So you can see you can get some interesting effects there. Let's put it to 150. There you go, it's a lighter shade of purple. And let's put this last one, instead of 255, let's put it, let's try 200 for now. 
you can get some quite unusual effects going on there. 250. There we go. A nice pink background there. Oh, not the best really, is it? Uh, can we try a different... I'm just going to try a different mix just to show you the different effects you can get. There we go. Now, isn't that neat? So there you go, and then you can do the same essentially with the night for night time colours. I won't show you that, you can do that yourself and play around with all these as well. That's quite a nice effect. So I'm going to play around with this. If you see a live stream from me in the future and you look wondering why my name tags are different, because I've been playing around with the, all these options. If you have Flow Essentials, Flow Pro on PC already, give it a go. Xbox owners, I can only keep my... Fingers crossed that you get this soon. But do let me know your thoughts on this video. Give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon.